going to flash tonight? That is the question. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, Journeyman and myself, we are at St Mary's on the Marsh. It's uh, localish. Well, more local for Michael than it is for me, but <laughs> I'm not driving, so it's local. Anyway, um, we're doing this one because Michael's on holiday, so I uh, hope you enjoy it and see you in a bit. See you shortly. Thank you. Uh, 
All right, Dan. Can you make the chandelier thing swing? Now I messed up. I was recording in slow motion. Silly idiot. We can whisper. Can we hear you whisper? That's the thing. Yo. Yeah. You want to put it out there somewhere? As long as you can see the graveyard. Yeah. When you go out, let me know. I turn it on. You've just got to sit it on top of something. Yeah. <coughs> edge. What do you mean by edge? Can't believe I can't believe I was recording in slow motion. Oh. Yeah. Go on, then. Go on then. affect this animal. Make him flash. So I, had a, I think I had about 13 minutes in slow motion. And that's most probably my uh, intro as well. Yeah, is That no, is the Mary Ann. Mary Ann. This is a stone. Things sitting comfortable in the end. Unto us a child is born. Yeah. Right. Let's forget let's forget about the uh slow motion. And I'm going to go out in the graveyard. So how do I switch this camera on? How do I switch this camera on? I'm doing it. Gives a 15 second count and then it starts working. There you go, it's on. Right. Remember that is down. Doesn't matter what any way around you put it, really, I don't think. Right, okay, see you in a minute. Do what? Right. Called a camera. God, that's windy out here. Windy. All right, let's find a place for Michael's camera. Mm -hmm. 
think. Right then. You treat. Spirit of the tree, awaken. Can you please come forward? Give me a sign. Speak to me on the box. Is there anyone here? Ruth, Ruth Palmer, can you come forward? Relation. Thank you for your service, William. Have you? William Irvine and Lillian Can you come forward? Talisman. What do you mean by talisman? Very nice chilby docks over there. Why would you treat your bird and by who? Who treated you bad? Johnson. <coughs> Johnson treated you bad. As you can see, it's raining. But, it doesn't stop me. Albert William, were you the Albert that came through inside the church? I might have been recording in slow motion, sir. So. 
you face the object down it in slow motion. It's a good job I don't talk much. That's another one. Rosa. Well, if you're talking to me through this box, then I'm afraid you're dead. Let's walk the sting nettles. Uh. Over here, could be war graves. Um, thank them for their service. Private E. Jones, Royal West Kent. 1914, age 35. Thank you for your service. Much appreciated for what you suffered. But you'd be shocked if you saw what the country was like now. H.J. Blackman. Thank you for your service. What do you want me to see? Right then. Um. You tell me when you're ready. Actually, I'll get this camera going. Hold on, John. Teresa. Okay. Well, right, we're, we're just about to start the SDS session, so we're ready. As you can see, the MF meters are still flying up. I'm not sure what was setting them off tonight. They're just non-stop. But let's uh, make a start. John's obviously set, he's done. You should let me move this body camera. You'll see him on my main camera anyway, but 
I'll bring this forward a little. I'm in screen, so we're fine. Bear with me, John's just ticking around there. We've got to see her go in there, so hopefully that picking everything up. Okay, Spirit, I need your help now. The cat ball's going, I hope you can see that next to John. So we've got some communication going on there. I've got a light flashing in this, oh, it's the light, it's the torch on me. Please, Spirit, come forward and talk to us, please. As I mentioned before, the last time we visited this location, the MF meters are both in the red, it's ridiculous. Yes, we visited the location a number of months ago now, and you were quite talkative at the time. And we're hoping this evening that you're going to join us once more and communicate. So whatever you can do, I would appreciate it. Flat worms. Flat worms. It's a bit of a strange one. I've never had flat worms before. Let me see if I can get this to hold up in here, maybe. Yeah, that might work. Come on, spirit. Come and communicate with me, please. John's able to pick your voice up. If so, if you want to say something to him. What is he doing? What is who doing, please? Are you referring to myself or are you referring to John? If you're referring to John, he's got headphones and a blindfold on in order to pick you up. He can't hear what I'm saying. He can only hear you through the spirit box that he has pumped into his ears. So come and communicate with him, please. Let's have a conversation together. Let me find a little out, find a little about yourself. Too many to count. Too many to count. Too many what, spirit, please? Let's not go down this path of giving stupid words. I'm here to communicate. I've been great love and respect to you. I mean no harm, no hate. I just mean great love. I think what I may do is turn this camera slightly and see if it will face out into the church. It's there to pick my voice up also, but maybe if it can see the church as well, that'd be a good thing. Here we go. That's good. Maybe move it just this way a little. Bear with me, I apologise for this. Okay, so we, we, we can get many angles now. Please, Spirit, come and communicate. Diane. Diane. Is that a genuine name from this place, or is this just a stupid word? Please. Don't leave me hanging. John's there. I need you to talk to him this evening. I don't want him to sit there quietly for 30 minutes and not communicate. So give me something if you would. Am I spirit? I would say you are spirit, yes. If you're to talking to John now through that device, then clearly you're spirit. So now you know that. Noah. Noah. I was going to say, could you give me your name? So you're telling me that we have a Noah here with us now? Is your name Noah? Please. Yeah, cool dude, look now, look at this. Please, come forward. I appreciate you, you moving these EMF devices, but a cat ball would be nice. And maybe a shadow figure would be good. Or even a nice light anomaly. Maybe you could move that chandelier for me. Something just shut down, I'm not sure what it was. What shut down then? Or oh, it may have been my static camera, it may have run out of battery. 1910s. 1910s. 
Can, can they hear us? We can hear you, Spirit, certainly. I've just heard you say that. So clearly, we can hear you. Are you open to conversation with me? What shall we do? I need you to communicate. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do any more than that. Just come and talk through John, please. Are you able to do that for me? Please. I'd appreciate anything. I just need to know that you're here with me. Would you be able to tell me the person that looks after this place? When I was here last, you said a name. And I've said it a couple of times this evening. But I'd like you to repeat it, if you would. I'd like you to say that name. I'd like you to communicate with me. The wind's howling out there. It's actually a very windy, miserable night tonight. So it's probably a good thing that we're inside this church. Memories. What memories do you have, Spirit? We all carry memories through life. And obviously memories, I hope, get taken on with you to the other side. Ultimately, it's, it's our life. It's our shared experiences. Training. Training? Who's in training? Some say that you're in training through life. You're here to learn. So you move on and then some come back and they learn more. Is this true, Spirit? Do you come back many times? Yes. You do, I thought as much. Do we get the choice whether we come back or not? Or do we have to come back if we haven't learned the lessons that we need to? Could you tell me that at least? I appreciate you confirming that we Return. I've always believed that. I've always believed that we get that choice. I believe that we plan our lives from the other side. I believe that we end up with the same people through many lives. We're all linked, I know that. Remember you. you. You remember me, do you? Do you remember me from my last recently? Visit? Recently, yes, I did visit on my own recently, didn't I? I was here whilst John was. You was here. here. I was here, yes. I was here when John was having his holiday. I came alone. So you remember that, do you? Remember. You do. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Michael. I miss what John said then. Do you do you stay here permanently, Spirit? Are you here all the time? Could you confirm? I wish that camera had run out of battery because these EMF meters are absolutely flying up. Yes, we have multiple, multiple pieces of equipment here, Spirit. That's able to communicate with you. It's a real shame about the EMF meters. I just don't know what to do. I haven't got a spare battery for that camera. Although I may have, actually. But in reality, I'm here to... pick the voice up. <coughs> Olivia, we have Olivia here, do we? I may pop up actually and see if I can get another battery. Bear with me. Yeah, 
We make a noise. Did you hear? Are we friends? We are friends, yes. Well, I hope we are. Oh, that's better. Now we've got that back now. We would like that. What would you like us to do? So we're friends. That's better. Okay. Sorry about that. That's fair. I had to move just to get a battery in that camera so it can pick up the EMF meters. Let's get this camera back. The blackness. Blackness? Is that all you see is darkness, spirit? That camera's moved away from me now. Okay, let's get it back. Everywhere. There's darkness everywhere, is there? I apologise for that. That's not very nice for you, is it? Let's get this back on myself. Sorry about that, I lost the image. There we go. Okay. Ordens. What's an ordens? O R D A N S. That's a weird name. Spirit, what does ordens mean? I'll Google it and put it in the video now. Thank you. You were talking whilst I was up getting a battery for the other camera. Could you repeat what you said, please? I missed it. Could you come forward and say that again? Please, Spirit. What I'm amazing is EMF meters aren't moving now. I've put the battery back in the camera. There we go. Thank you, you proved me wrong then, wasn't you? Spirit, you were saying that you remembered me from last time. Albert. Albert. Could you tell me, did we have a conversation during my last visit, or did you just stay in the background and watch me? Did you talk to me? Yes. You did, thank you. Did you give me your name? Albert. Albert. Albert, again. I'm an Albert up here. So we've, we've definitely got Albert here because two spirit boxes have said it and John said it personally. Thank you, Albert. I'm near you. You're near me, are you? Are you to the left of me, Albert, or are you to the right of me? Sorry about that, I just run over this. Front. You're in front of me. Thank you, Albert. Watching. You're watching me, are you? Albert, do you trust me? Do you, do you think I'm a nice, kind person? Please. Am I a kind person? Could you confirm that? Albert? Am I kind? I can't. Why can't you? Do I not seem a kind person? Do you think I'm a nasty person? Albert? No. No. You don't think I'm a nasty person? Is that right? Albert, please, keep talking to me. I really appreciate you coming forward. Keep, 
Keep speaking, please. I need to know why you're here. What brings you here to this location? Safe space. It's a safe space for you, is it? Did you live close by in life? Could you tell me that? Let me just move this camera. It's just... Village. You lived in the village. Thank you, Albert. This is a very small village, isn't it? There's not many houses here. So did you live in one of the houses opposite the church? No. No, you didn't. So you lived a little way out there, did you? Did you visit this church in life, Albert? Battlefield. Battlefield. So did you die in war, Albert? Or did you go through the war, but you died of something else? Did you die in battle, Albert? Wounds. You died from your wounds from the battle. Oh, I'm really sorry for that, Albert. I'm really, really sorry. I'd like to thank you for your sacrifice. Hospital. You died in hospital, did you, from your wounds? Was you back in England when you, when you passed? Did you pass in England? Local. You passed locally. Thank you. I'm not sure what a local hospital is, Albert, unfortunately. I do apologise. I guess it would actually it would be Sittingbourne, I guess. But where were you wounded, Albert? What, what country were you wounded in? When did you eventually get hurt? Cross the water. Cross the water. <laughs> this is amazing. Albert, I really appreciate that. Was it in France, Albert? Or maybe you were going into Germany or somewhere? Was it France? Albert? Belgium. You died in Belgium. Can you believe this? This is absolutely amazing. This is Albert. This is a gentleman that died in the war. Albert, did you die in the First World War? Or did you die in the Second World War, please? Sure, sure. Forget what my spirit box says. It's just rubbish. Albert, what war did you die in, please? Or did you get hurt in? I do apologise. 1916. 19th. <laughs> Albert, thank you. First World War. I really appreciate that. You are amazing. Thank you. December. December 1916. Is that correct? And you were in Belgium when you got hurt? Yes. You was. Was you hurt by a bullet or were you hurt by a bomb? How were you hurt, Albert? Albert, how were you hurt, please? Was you shot? Explosion. Explosion. It was a bomb. Albert, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really thankful for you communicating with me. I can feel your energy. I can feel the love from you. Lost legs. There was gas. Gas. Albert, you lost your legs and you say gas. Was it mud? hurting lungs? Dirty lungs. Oh, let me turn mine off because that's, I'm sorry about this, Albert. I did, mine is really annoying me. And I know you're communicating through John. So you've got dirty lungs. Was it mustard gas or something like that that hurt you, Albert? Was it maybe mustard gas? I'm sure that's what they called it in the First World War. Could you confirm, please? So did you lose your legs in the explosion, which you obviously did in 1916 in Belgium? You died in hospital, but maybe losing legs didn't take your life. It was the gas that eventually took your life. Is that correct? Gone. What's gone, Albert? 
I know you're God now. You're now in spirit, aren't you? Can I ask, Albert, have you visited heaven yet? Have you seen heaven? Albert? Please stay with me, if you would. Please stay with me, Albert. Albert, I need you to communicate with me, please. Please. Please tell me Albert hasn't gone. Come on. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, God. Uh, can I ask who's talking now, please, then? Please tell me who's speaking now. Who am I communicating with? Please don't hold me back. I was really enjoying talking to Albert. Charlotte. That's Charlotte now, is it? Charlotte. Where's Albert gone, please? Could you tell me? Has he passed the other side? Charlotte? Blood. Blood? What do you mean by blood, Charlotte? Charlotte, what do you mean by blood? We've had blood picked up here already this evening. Did you have something wrong with your blood, Charlotte? Or were you hurt? Laying in it, in it. You were laying in it? Oh, I'm really sorry for that, Charlotte. So was you murdered? Was you killed? Charlotte, was you killed, please? A car. A car. So you were, you were killed by, in a car accident. And is the last thing you see was yourself laying in your own blood? Hit. You were hit by a car. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm really sorry for that. Could you tell me how old you were when you got hit by the car, please? Charlotte, would you tell me how old you were, please? I'll just have 34. 34? Do you know what? This communication tonight is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Charlotte. I really appreciate that. So you died very young, didn't you? Do you know what year that was, Charlotte, please, that you, that you were killed? Charlotte? Could you tell me what year that you were killed, please? Charlotte, come on. I've just had 49. 1949. I'm sorry, Charlotte, for that. Yes. Yes, it was. Do you know what? This is amazing. I, I don't know how I'm communicating with these two spirits. Albert's gone now, and I'll, I'll send my love to you, Albert. God bless to you. But Charlotte, I'm really sorry for your passing at such a young age. Can I ask why you're still here, please? Why you're still able to communicate with me? Can I ask why you never crossed over into the light, maybe? I believe there is a light after death. Could I ask why you never crossed over, please? Could I ask what happened? Is there unfinished business for you? Charlotte. Come and touch my hand. You can trust me. Or maybe touch John if you wish to touch John. But do something. I hold out my hand with love. I hold out my hand with kindness to you. I just said love and light. I just said John. You just said John. Yes, you are. You're communicating through John, Charlotte. Can I ask, are you standing next to John? Were you near me? Could you confirm? Did you hear that then? 
that's very really like a wine. Charlotte, what was that wine, please? Someone else here. There's someone else here. Is it something good, Charlotte, or is it something nasty? Could you tell me, please? Dark. There's something dark here. Whatever's well, here that's dark, step away. Scared. You're scared, Charlotte. Come and stand next to me. Don't be scared. Come and stand next to me. Whatever dark entities here, step away. I've got some light on my side. You're not going to touch Charlotte. I knew there was something dark here. There was a couple of times when we've been before, I've always picked up on something dark. Whoever you are, stay back. Leave Charlotte alone. They are mine. They're not yours. You can clear off whoever you are. Tell me your name. She said John again. You just said John again. Is your name John? You're not referring to John over here. Is your name John, the dark entity that's here? Whoever you are, you can clear off. I command it. Don't touch Charlotte. Why is there always a dark energy that has to come in and cause problems? Charlotte, are you with me, darling? Are you close to me? Charlotte? Are you close to me, please? She's gone. She's gone. It's this dark entity, isn't it? You keep driving them off. I'd Elbert and Charlotte, and you've driven them away. You're an evil little bastard. I'm sorry to swear in God's church, but there's no need for it. This is my place. This is not your place. This is God's house. It's not your property. This is God's house. Now clear off. Please God, protect Albert and Charlotte, I beg of you. Time you left. Time I left. You can get lost. I'll leave when I'm ready to leave. And not before. If you want to scare me, move something. Come on, move something. Knock something off. You can't, can you? Because your words, you all talk. What can you do? Utter scumbag. There's always a dark entity that has to interfere with the light spirits. Fed up with them. I'm here to communicate with spirits of love and light. I just had a an eerie laugh. You had an eerie laugh. Is this you, you nasty little git? Is that what you can do? There's nothing evil about you. You're pretending to be evil. This is my playground. This is not your playground. Don't be stupid. It's a church that's not used anymore. There'd be very few visitors here. So where is it your playground? I control all. You control nothing. What do you control? You're a spirit. You're here, stuck in this place. Don't even think about attaching yourself to me or John. I have the love of God on my side, so wherever you are, you can keep away from me. Go and play your little playgrounds. Bloody evil entity. I was having a lovely conversation then with these two. Right, we've just gone up to the 30-minute mark now. Sorry about that, I was really um, excited because the communication was probably the best I've ever had on this essay. It was just bang on, every question, every response, and then this dark little entity stepped in. I just said, shut up. Oh, shut up yourself, you idiot. You get on my nerves. You can feel this energy dark, because I can feel it now. Respect me. I'm a child of God. You probably was 
she said another creepy laugh. I just said yes, and then another laugh. I'm bored with you now. That wind is howling. You bore me, spirit. I'm dominant. I said, Tom. Tom. Is this Thomas? There's three Thomases here. Is this one of you? Thomas, are you the dark entity that's here? Are you the dark soul with his eyes here and there's movement? No. You're not. Thank you, Thomas. I didn't mean to cause you any distress. Could you tell me why this dark entity's here with this room? He's moved away. He will be back. He'll be back. Well, we'll be gone by the time he comes back. Tom or Thomas, do you live here? Do you, do you stay here? Do you reside here, please? Out, outside. You're outside, do you? Is your grave in the um, cemetery? Out? My home. Just had the name Hannah. Hannah? Is Hannah someone you loved in life, maybe? Tom? Is she someone you loved in life? Could you confirm? I'm going to have to leave it there because we've been going so long and I have so much footage. I want to never do it at all. But this was a fascinating, fascinating one. Apart from the dark spirit that stepped in, I don't think I've ever had anything like it. Okay, I'm going to pull John out of this. Um, I think it's about time. So let's get him out. Job. I know I say it every week. Best SDS ever. I'm telling you. Uh. I don't have any life because I feel a bit drained again. I'm not surprised. Oh, Tell me I'm best recorded on this. You got a camera up here, don't you? Or is that the one facing you that, yeah. and you weren't recording? I don't know. Well, I... <laughs> it was amazing, George. It was amazing. Do you want to do the closing scene quickly? Yeah.
He died, come what I said, he died, but I said, <coughs> what year was he? Uh, where did he die? And he said, I died over the water. I said, when did you die, Albert? Was you in the First or Second World War? And he said, 1916. And I said, you were the First World War. Yeah, I said, I'm, I remember saying Belgium. Yeah, and he said he was in Belgium. And I said, what killed you, Albert? Uh, was it a bullet or was it a bomb? And he said, there was an explosion. And I said, what happened to you, Albert? He said, I lost my legs. And I said, is that what killed you, Albert? And he said, I died in hospital. I said, did your, taking your legs away kill you? Did it, you know, get an infection? He said, no, I was gassed. And he said, I had dirty lungs. And I said, so you died from mustard gas poison? And he said, yes. Yeah. And then he went and something said, he's gone. And I thought, oh no, he's gone. And then I had Charlotte come through. And Charlotte was fantastic. She died in 1946. She said blood first. And she said, I said, how did you die? And she said, I was laying in blood. And I said, what took your life? You were obviously killed and laying in your own blood. That's what you saw last thing. And she said, a car accident. And I said, what year did you have a car accident? When did you die? She said, 1946. And she was just talking to me. And then suddenly this nasty little bastard stepped in. This nasty yeah, empty. I say, I felt all kind of... Yeah, this nasty empty stepped in. He kept laughing. I kept getting an eerie... Uh, uh, it was, a, it was a kind of a chilling laugh. Yeah. It was pretty... He kept laughing at me and I said to him, you're, you're an evil bastard, step away, because he drove both of them out. And then right at the end, he, he went, I felt him go, because I felt it shift. And then Tom came through, and I was talking to Tom, and he said, they're both gone now. And I said to Tom, are you one of Thomas's here? He said, yeah. And I said, where are you? And he said, I live outside. I said, what, you're the graveyard? He said, yeah, that's my home. <laughs> but I said, when's the evil entity? He said, he'll be back soon. And I thought, Jesus Christ. You'll see on the SS. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, that was the best we've ever done. It never, it never makes sense when I'm... Oh, you trust me. That's the best SS we've ever done, and we've had some good ones. Thank you for getting this far into the, the video. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice church. Um, <laughs> seems to have a nice feel to it. It did. Uh, got a nice graveyard, I do like the graveyard. Uh, and the S test, I say, it never makes sense until I actually listen to the, the footage. So, I uh, can't really comment on that. I, I know I've spoke a few words, so, so it's all good. And uh, see you on the next one. Take it easy. God bless to you all.
down the spine. Figures move through, giving no sign. Capo glows bright in Raven's grasp, unveiling secrets with, with every rasp. Hedgehogs sense every subtle change. Through the confusion, ain't nothing they are strange. Dark corner secrets, hidden tight. They are born solid in the ear.